Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Logan. So let's start talking about this movie. Uh, and of course, with my movie reviews, I usually do a non spoiler portion and a spoiler portion. So let's get started with the non spoiler portion. So, with this movie, we get to see a combination of two comic book stories, Old Man Logan and the X-23 storyline, and they kind of just mesh them together, and we'll see if it's a, a good idea or a bad idea, but this is a rated R movie, so we actually get the action um, and goriness that we deserve in a Wolverine movie, and I will say, I love this movie. I, I think, debatably, it's the best X-Men movie out there. Not debatably the best Wolverine movie, <laughs> uh, because the other two were not very good, uh, but this was really well done, um, and I think it's because it brings the elements of the X-Men that we don't really get to see in other X-Men films, which, which is the emotions, it's the relationships. I, I think that's always been the big part of the X-Men, is not just that they're superheroes or mutants, it's the relationships they, they have with each other, or at least the, you know, the olden days of the X-Men. That's always been an important theme, the family aspect, and they really brighten that up with this movie. Um, I will say the small complaints I have with the movie are... The pacing, I don't think this ought to be a two hour and 20 minute movie, especially the beginning where it's just Logan. Uh, it, it was a bit slow and, and they could have picked that up or chopped up, chopped that up a bit. So the pacing could have been better. Um, and I did like the action of the movie, but the close up shaky cam got a little distracting. Maybe because I was a, a little bit, um, further up in my, uh, in my theater, where I was a little bit closer up to the screen, but the shaky cam, I feel like we didn't get to see as much of the beautiful action and choreography because of the shaky cam, especially with, um, Laura, where she has her, uh, her claw on her foot. We didn't really get to see that that often because it's really quick the way the camera was shooting it. Those are my small complaints of the movie. The rest of it is heart-wrenching and just a really well done Logan story and and they really mesh the two storylines of X-23 and Old Man Logan perfectly in this movie. Yes, it's not a complete uh, ex the exact uh, story from both those uh, comic books, but still I think they, they bring to life the key elements of both those comic books. So that's my non-spoiler portion of the review. I give the, the movie four and a half stars. Again, I had small minor nitpicks of the movie, but I love this movie, and it's one of the best superhero movies I've seen in a very long time. Moving on to the spoiler portion, I have a lot of things I want to talk about. So first, I mean, the deaths in this movie were crazy. I mean, they they definitely had no hold bars in this film where everyone's dying. You have... Uh, you have Professor Xavier, the family that you feel connected to, Wolverine himself, which I think we all knew he was going to die in the end, but so many deaths in this movie that were heart-wrenching, but the, the key element of this movie is the family element of Laura, um, Logan, and Professor Xavier. Professor Xavier is just that grandpa that, you know, always uh, likes saying his comment, and but then he realizes that he killed the X-Men. Now, they don't spell it out in the movie, but they pretty much said he killed the X-Men instead of Logan, because in the old man Logan story, Logan's the one who kills the X-Men, but this time it was Pro Professor Xavier, and that's kind of how he dies, is knowing that. Uh, and... We, going back to the family aspect though, that's the big, big key element of the movie and what made this movie strive. And the father-daughter relationship between Laura and Logan, that building up to that was was so good. And the, the chemistry between the two actors were great. And then once you get the, the Laura and, and Logan moment where he's dying and she's saying, Dad, don't go, don't go heart-wrenching and especially because we've known Wolverine for so long you know we we've, we've seen Hugh Jackson and Hugh Jackman's uh, Logan for over a decade now so to say goodbye to that character because this is his last movie but also just to kind of see the passing of the torch in many ways was was so beautiful and just a beautiful way to talk about legacy um also there's a lot of great easter eggs in this movie of course you have the comics you have the opening scene with Deadpool where there's uh teasing what's coming up next with uh, the movies got Nathan Summers which we already knew that we have Firefly posters in the background 
it was fun. Uh, so those Easter eggs were a lot of fun. And then uh, going into the comic book adaptations, uh, again, they changed it a bit for this film. I told you about the differences with Professor Xavier and Logan, but they also changed Laura's storyline. So now with Laura's storyline, her origins had to do a bit more about her connection with her mother. So they changed that in the movie where it's about Logan. Uh, and they even, like, steal the lines from the end. If you read the X-23 origin story, it's the same exact lines that Laura tells, well, her mother tells Laura. It's like, you're not a weapon. You're a person. Now, nitpick is that it's a shame that they called her Laura throughout the whole thing because I do think it's a powerful moment where her mom calls her Laura and, and, and says you are Laura Kinney and gets her name. But I guess because it was the change of the narrative of it being Logan instead of her mother, it made sense. We actually never get to see Laura's mother. And also Laura's technically not a clone in this movie. They change it where there's an X-24 clone instead. So it, it actually puts you on your toes though. So if you knew the, the Laura story, it's not just a repeat of what that comic was. They change it up a bit, but they still keep the key elements of who Laura is, that she was um, abused as a child and, and she didn't really speak because of it. And then you see the, her opening up because of Logan. So instead of her mother, she's opening up because of Logan and they use the serum in different ways because there's a serum where she'd rage out and wouldn't be able to control herself but the key elements are there and I think that's what is important and Laura was the best character of this movie the, the the actress did such a good job at portraying this character that you know it was really complicated and they even have small moments of like her cutting herself which is uh, part of her past of, of how she um, had problems dealing with her emotions. So I'm glad they, they kind of kept those small elements of the character. It makes you excited to see how her character is going to grow. Is she going to be the next Wolverine? Uh, they also obviously changed the movie a bit where she's not the only X-23. There's all these other kids. And I guess that's just to really make mutant kind advance a bit. That way it's not just Laura being um, the only mutant in the world. But I do think it took a little bit away from X-23's origin stories. But overall, like I said, they, they kept the key elements, which was important. So overall, um, I mean, I could talk about this movie all, all day. There's so many great stuff within it. And it's a great X-Men movie that I think that gets into the core of what the X-Men's about. It got into the core of what Wolverine's about. And it introduces Laura in a really cool way and makes you want to follow her journey even more. And hopefully we will see more of Laura. And I, I do think we will in the future. But I don't know how she'll be uh, introduced and what type of film she'll have. So that's my review for Logan. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the movie. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And also, annotated is the Kickstarter for Like Father, Like Daughter, issue four. So definitely go check that out. And I'll see you guys later.